What's up everybody and welcome to Arena Breakout Infinite. This is another extraction shooter that seems to be very similar to Tarkov, but it is actually going to be a free to play game. And uh, it seems like it's been getting some pretty positive reception so far. Um, today we're gonna be jumping into it for the very first time. This is, I literally just loaded into the game. We're creating our character. And then uh, we'll go through the tutorial and see how it is. It is in beta right now. Not sure how long the beta is actually going to be going for, but I know if you're watching on Twitch or anything, then there's a chance that you can actually get keys. I was available to get a key, so that's why we're jumping into it. But if you guys end up enjoying this, leaving a like on the video makes a huge difference. We'll see if we hit that like 30 like goal as usual. And for right now, we're just gonna hit next, see what we got here. And then kind of go from there so start the game with your current name yep that's it not too much character customization but uh there's a decent amount i get uh yeah it's not it's not too much <laughs> we'll stick with that one character created i'm joel your instructor i'm going to help you get acquainted with this place okay all right joel let's see what we got Game mode, extract and bring your supplies, enter the dark zone and collect supplies on the map and prepare your equipment and supplies for the dark zone. Dark zone always reminds me of the division. I feel like at least. Tap and go to storage. There was an operator who didn't make it out of the farm. His stuff is yours now. Okay. The dark zone is easy to enter, but hard to leave. Here's a list of equipment and supplies you'll need to bring with you. Got it. We need to equip primary weapon. Looks like we got two things. I'll take this one. So F moves it on. We'll take that. Body armor. And a backpack. So the cool thing is, yeah, if you look right here, these backpacks can actually be rolled up. So that Weapons way they don't take a ton of space. Enough. Oops. You'll also need plenty of ammo and meds if you want to get back alive. First aid kit. Bring, what is this? Bandage. Painkiller bandage. Surgical kit. STD kit. Standard military surgical kit. Okay, interesting. And then uh, we got to bring extra ammo. Okay, cool. Yeah, and it shows... It. Oh, nice. So when you hover over it, you can actually see if it's compatible with what weapons. Place ammo in the pocket. Oh, you mean like extra mag, uh, extra rounds? Oh, okay. Equipment tip. Different weapons use different types of ammo. Ammo must be placed first in a magazine to be used. Protect your head and reduce or block bullet damage. Okay, this is all just telling you basic stuff. Med kit, bandage. All right, so here's the important one. Taking damage reduces your HP, med kit restores it. Wounds can cause unbroken body parts to continuously lose HP. Treat wounds with a bandage. Okay, so if we see that. So if you're pretty much if you're bleeding, use a bandage. And then surgical kit. If you break a uh, brick bone after movement, and prevents recovering HP, treat a break with surgical kit or use painkillers. Got it. Tap back in the lower left. That should do it. Let's go. All right. Remember, this place is dangerous. If you are eliminated in the dark zone, you'll lose everything. Got it. All right, we're going into the dark zone, I guess. I haven't checked any of the settings or anything like that. Let's actually take a quick look. Where we at? So I haven't messed with literally anything at all. Nice. All right. So we got a borderless mode already. We're running on mostly high settings. I'll bump up the FOV just a tiny bit. Let's turn the head shake down to low. Is there a motion blur? Enable, I'll actually turn on VLSS. I mean, uh, V-Sync. Okay, controls. Let's 
all of this is set to that. Where's the right click? All right, we're going to change that to... Okay, it is set. By default, it's pressed. Nice. I like that. All right, I think we are good to go then. Everything else will leave at auto. Save current settings. I want to exit the game. All right, let's go in. Enter. So you got covert ops and tactical ops. Play as an operator and carry your own equipment into the raid and then covert ops unlocks at level five. Uh, or unlocks at level, I think that's supposed to be unlocks at level five. All right, let's go. Tactical ops, normal. Lockdown zone, forbidden zone, shooting range. So we're gonna do normal. After choosing the farm, click on, uh, after choosing the farm, click on it to choose a map. Okay. Select map. And then start, I guess. Let's do it. First match. Ricky Pizza. Now, I don't, I, I think you can load in. By yourself, you can do solo queue, but I think this, I don't know if this is just a tutorial still, or if this is actually another player. Guess we'll find out. Here we go. Search for supplies, successful extraction. Perfect. Search Everybody's everywhere so for supplies. Good. Oh God. Yo. Darko, oh. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know what the waits. <laughs> what is the the keybind? Push the talk. Okay. Uh. Checking, checking. Wait, what is what what is the push to talk? What's what's the push to talk? Okay, it's not V. M. Are we on bus? I don't I don't know, man. I don't know where I I don't even know I'm here. Oh, it's Y. Oh, it's Y to push the talk. There we go. Oh, this is my first I time, so I have no idea. I've not done anything. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even know. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. This feels nice. Movement feels good. The biggest thing I was worried about is the movement feeling like dark oh, with fucking inertia and like sprinting and stopping and feeling that weird like, you know, slide. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Yeah, it's just feeling good so far. I mean, it's running good too. Yeah, the running part is the part that blows me away. Like visually, it looks really clean. Okay, so. so people complain the most about it in my friend group that are like Tarkov fans. Well, he doesn't have that, that 90s Russian grit. I'm like, yeah, because <laughs> it's not fucking slop jank. Yeah, because, yeah. <laughs> I heard something over the left. Slightly different. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's so loud. I need to bind the uh, push to talk to my mouse. That might shoot the semi. I had it on full auto. Uh, did, you, did you get the guy on the steps? Killed him earlier. Oh, okay. Hold on, I'm going to try to change this real quick. Yeah, I was not expecting to queue up Good, like clear. that. I didn't see anybody else. Just drop the guy on the steps. So. Try moving it to the mouse. Okay, cool. Quick chat. Look at his body. Make sure he doesn't get shot. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> the mic volume is so low. All right. Settings saved. All right, not too bad. Yeah, that was loud as hell for a second there. All right, so what do we... Do we even have any missions? No. Extract without a backpack. Outpost. So here's all the extraction zones, it looks like. Stables. Oh. Roll up thing for bags is fucking sick. I love that. Yeah, I just saw... I saw that. I was like, that's so nice. So convenient. Ricky P, man. 
Right. Here if you grab it. Lean Hang feels good. Okay. So that's how you can search. Man, I can't. What blows me away is I can't believe this game is going to be like free to play. It's going to be kind of surprising to see that this game's like free to play. I feel like, too. It's definitely a level of polish I haven't seen in a lot of free to play stuff. And to think that this is the beta is kind of nuts. Yeah, definitely. Whoa. All right, I just phased through that. To, uh, railing there. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. You can press middle mouse button to change your crosshair on the red that we get on the AKs. That's sick. Yeah, that's awesome. Huh. Yeah, you can change the uh, the crosshair like that too. There's fucking yeah. soap and nails in this bag. I don't know what this man was up to. He was something devious. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we don't have any missions or anything, but I see two circles on the map, so I guess that's the place to go. I'm not sure what we're intending on doing. It would just be like loot zones, potentially, so. Yeah. There's no, like, friendly fire in this, too, which is fucking nice. And oh, I love really? the fact that we have cross our Yeah, there's, like, you can can't PK unless you use, like, Molotov. I think okay. that makes me happy is the fact that we have like name tags above our fucking heads, so it would be like, is that you next to the bush? Yep, yeah, the, yeah, that's really nice too. One of my first matches I ever played of like Tarkov, I literally shot my friend from alt tabbing. That's what happens. That's so bad. It's, <laughs> it's said it's dangerous here in your yard, so I think this is like the uh, crazy area where AI might be and shit. Gotcha. Yeah, the game's running great so far. I mean, I'm getting a solid 150 frames. Let's see. Oh, I hear somebody. It's also kind of nice because you got a compass like right away. Left side. Bearings. Alt T to check ammunition. Let me actually check. Less than half. Okay. Reload. Still slabs as per usual. Alright, it's alright. He got one, I got one. Well, wow, it's kind of a rare occurrence of actually getting a good match. <laughs> <laughs> so far. On this guy. Check these. All right, can I throw? Oh, wow, guy. I can actually throw that in. Shotgun. Okay. Wait, does it let me throw it there? Okay, nice, nice. Dude, this is feeling good so far. You can also change your zeroing distance pretty easily what's the uh how do you change selective fire you know i'm gonna guess it's b oh it's b uh it should be uh b yeah all right cool you bound to my mouse because it's always playing change fire mode so yeah it makes sense okay we're doing health wise. Energy is going down. Safe. I'm gonna move this up to my pocket. I feel like I brought in a lot, starting out at least. This is also a case. I guess it sets us apart from cargo in the sense of like it being free to play is for the gamma containers and like the private containers and stuff like that, apparently it's going to be on a subscription based service. So that'll be a little uh, easier, but I mean, because I mean, even if I don't have to, I, I usually play Tarkov like a fucking cowardly bastard, but this game feels a lot more smooth than Tarkov, so I might not be a fucking to hide in a corner until the gunfire dies down. Yeah. Yeah, I'm more of like a, I love like mill sims, but Tarkov is, is a lot to get into. So I've played it a few times, but I've been dabbling with 
this in gray zone so far. Sounds great. Ooh, a box. Medium weapon case, what do we got? Alright, not bad. Yeah, this is some random guy, by the way. So, we've got a guy giving some insight for uh, that plays Tarkov, and then there's me, where I play just a lot more PvE stuff, so not too bad so far. We're So we're still over by the stables. It's kind of nice that you can automatically see the extraction zones. I was playing grades on the other day, and I was like, I'll use a shotgun. Never will I fucking use a shotgun in grades ever <laughs> yeah. again. I was thinking about using one the other day, but I was like, ah, I don't know how practical this is going to be. And I put three three-ounce slugs into a dude's fucking neck. He turned around and shot me with an SKS. Yeah. Oh. I was like, I'm fucking killing. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be rough bad because it was just like cool just go quickly go to back to my body and it was the starter town and everybody had just responded i was the only one in the town hmm. do we go to the other uh red area i guess or i don't know how much we're actually going to get during this collected a little bit of shit but i just don't know yeah I heard much gunshot so i'm thinking there might not be people potentially in this one because it's level one if it is then it's maybe barely anybody here yeah this will find out here's clear yeah, it My does. favorite drink is in here. Come check it out. That's crazy. That nice. Some bleach. <laughs> That's about it. Nothing in this building. So. Yeah. Apparently, like as you pick things up I'm too, you can, um, you can check the price of what it sells on the market, like average too. That was, it made me laugh. I immediately saw that and was like, that's a single player Tarkov mod. That's very nice. <laughs> yeah. I still need to try single player Tarkov. I like good single player Tarkov feels in the sense of like uh, hit reg and shit like that. Cause it's not on a server waiting to rebound back and shit's not working. Yeah. Uh, it's still Tarkov. So there's so much jank associated with it. Up a weird can where I pull the whole metal tab off the top. I don't see anybody. Oh, spicy, from my understanding. All right. And I guess that this is the level one area. Well, there's a little chest or box container. So a jacket in the bottom of the boat. A a rectifi a rectifier and an all. Come and playing cards, oh boy. Converts alternating currents to direct currents. Okay. To charge batteries, huh? Oh, there's also a jacket. I'm just taking what I can right now, I guess. Good the grease gun is because 45 is fun, so I might have to play with that next round potentially. <laughs> yeah. Dude, everything's feeling great right now. If this is the beta, I'm I'm excited to see what full release is gonna be like. Here is where I see things get spicy. All right. Yeah, I wonder if this puts us into a match with other people or if it's just us for right now. I already saw other players have been here for sure. Okay, yeah. I guess other players are here.
Do we know how many people are in like one match at all? No idea. Yeah, I wonder how many actually go in. Fertilizer. Okay. And a magnet. A lot of useless stuff so far. With some really cards. Like the roll up feature. That's such a nice fucking thing. Yeah. Wow, those you footsteps are loud. Right side, right side over here on the yep, red track. Yep, I saw him. Run. The player for sure. I see him dead ahead. Oh, nice. Oh, Hear people talking. Side left, dude. I'm watching from where he shot left. that guy. Interior. Inside. Second story of this place. Okay. okay. Trying to watch my stamina on my carrying the gun. Stir. Keeping an eye out behind us. Running up. Yeah, yeah, it's me stepping on the chair, apparently. Check this door. Oh, it's, it's locked. Yeah, we need the barn office key to open that door. I don't have that, I don't think. Yeah, assuming not. I probably heard another guy, right? Like, I'm not crazy. Yeah, no, I, I heard the guy yell, too. One of the NPCs. Was at this hole, but... but is his body gone? Thing left over here. Hander me! Over here! Oh. I definitely heard him. He's right underneath. Yep. Yep. Sure. That's one way of maneuvering. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> nice. So nice you can move and repack mags. That's the fucking nicest thing. Yeah, that's awesome. Seems like they just like kind of went all in on quality of life stuff. Things that just make things easier. Tarko player will just be like immediately impressed. Yeah. <laughs> things easy? Wow. It's almost like it'll play this game like a job. Yeah, yep. All right, where are we at? So we got 17 minutes. I don't know where that corpse went that was on the pole bit. Yeah. Oh, there's... Unless that wasn't... No, he... Well, out rather than inward. It's sitting right there. That was an AI. If that was a player, then that was bad, but... Yeah, it's definitely AI. Let me turn the... Sound effects down just a little bit. It's really loud. I mean, I think there's a limiter for you guys for what you guys hear in the video, but still. On the corpse here, if you want to get your liquid up, if you want to grab that and have a sippy. Cool. Let's see what we got. Oh, he's got a pistol too. Hey, I'll take that. And searched. We just work our way the extract now. Some milk. Go ahead and use that. Oh. <laughs> Yum. Oh my god. 
That's funny. Use first aid kit. Backpack. What is this? Clog remover? Okay. Hmm. Back on chip. Got myself some chippy. I don't know if you can see me eating them, but they're delicious. Oh, yes. They look delicious, honestly. The cucumber flavor, which makes me upset to think it exists. I had a nice little uh, milk juicy box on that body. A milk juice box. <laughs> How do they put Capri Suns in these games? Come on, like, give me, give me a Capri Right? Extraction point is near. Stay in the red smoke to extract. All right, let's see. You can see that he's a Tarkov player. He's constantly walking around doing this. <laughs> Bleeding. Not bad. Okay. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, he totally carried me, but that's okay. Me the casual and him being the expert. Not bad. First run. There it is. Arena breakout. Operation success. Perfect raid. Okay, sweet. So let's see what uh what happens from here. Yeah, so far, I mean, game's running fantastic. Does it actually show us where we went? Oh, sick. So we spawned over here, we went over here, and then stayed pretty much along the right side. Perfect raid, extraction success. That guy was pretty nice, too. Yeah, go ahead and give him a, uh, give him a thumbs up. Duplicate likes. Tricky pizza. Looks like you know a thing or two about surviving in Kimona. Let me see what you managed to find. Sell this stuff to your contacts or on the market. Then use the coin to buy supplies and improve your odds next the time. The coin? Huh. Okay. I've got some nice Repeat stuff Repeat eliminated too. over five people in the last game. Do you want to add them as a friend? We could. Could. Sure. Application sent. I've got some nice stuff for you too. If you're interested, feel free to take a look. Sweet. All right, let's uh, let's see. So now, if we go to now, we have storage, gunsmith, contacts, gunsmith. All right, decent amount of guns. AKM, M4, fall, AK, nice. All right, decent amount here. Wow, this is, there's actually a marksman, bolt, light machine gun, shotguns, carbine, pistols. Let's say contacts. Everyone in Kimono runs some sort of business. Your contacts might not be your friends, but they can certainly help you. Also, I need your help with a few things. All right, let's see. So missions. I need you to take care of a commission for a friend. It's a low-risk job too. Easy money. Every mission in the Dark Zone makes you stronger. You'll also be rewarded for your efforts. This isn't charity work. All right. Successfully extract from farm once. Hey, that's hey, no problem. I think we can do that one. What else we got? Evita missions. No missions for Evita. If we go back, what about purchase? So looks like he sells weapons and ammo. She sells med kits, provisions, miscellaneous. Congratulations, you've unlocked. Whoa. Uh, I guess we unlocked a bunch of stuff. Joel, online, reach character level nine to unlock. Okay. I'm pretty sure this game has like daily rewards too that you can get. I have watched a little bit of Lyric playing the game. Hello world. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we got a friend now. One new message, friends. We're friends now. Let's chat. <laughs> Events. Here we go. Yep. Login for one day in total. So you get some 
bulletproof case trial card for seven days. Bulletproof case. Oh, so this must be the the case that you use. I see. So yeah, like he was saying, there's they're gonna be like a subscription for this game if you want to get all the good stuff. So I guess you can keep. Um, you get a seven day trial for the case. Hmm. So now I can go ahead and equip this one. I'm sure, I, I wonder if there's a way you can unlock like the reinforced one or composite. So if I put that there. So these two are locked, your keychains and the bulletproof case. You don't really need to swap those. Okay, so I'm gonna move all these items over that we picked up, including this gun too. Make sure I don't forget to do that. Rotate that. This pistol. All right. We'll keep the rest of this stuff. I I guess keeping like three med kits is worth. Standard first aid kit. So what's the difference between these two? Essential battlefield item. I guess they both just heal you. It's like one heals you more. How's our... So my energy hydration is all good. Movement speed brought down a little bit. There's a quip it quick. Oh, that's cool. You can just like automatically select things and it goes into your inventory. So if I want to bring like treatments... Oh... Yeah, it's actually that's actually really uh really nice. Is my gun already reloaded? Okay, so that's good, yep. Let's load ammo. Kasa, are you in here? You've just been hanging out this whole time. Whoa, wait, what? Am I still here? Yeah, I guess so. Wait, are we still partied up or something? <laughs> uh, apparently so. <laughs> I just went back to the screen after I was fucking around with the inventory and I was like, wait, I still see this man in the lobby with me. Oh, really? Wait, is that supposed to be your character, like, to the left? Or I thought that was, like, one's co covert ops, one's tactical ops. No, yeah, that's the thing. He's like, you're looking at the main screen. I went to, I guess, a uh, mission. Oh. It still shows me in the team with you. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, I yeah, see I it. Know. It says back team. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Yes, that threw me off so much. I'm so happy this game has uh, push to talk. Like on, yeah, push to talk and not open mic because otherwise I'd be sitting here doing this. Um, Yeah, I mean, we could run another one, I guess. Just make sure I'm good. Go to storage. I'm not sure what the, uh, let me actually and check. It's nice when they have an organized button built into the fucking inventory system. Yeah, it's, uh, actually I didn't see that. I saw there's a quick equipped option too. Oh, I see the organized one. Yeah, that's so nice. Ah, so much quality of life stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, instead of having to mess around with all the stuff, I could bring some biscuits. You know what? Let's bring one biscuit. And do we have any like water or something? Yeah, I do. Bring that. Hey, yeah, if you want to run another one, I'm down. That's fine. What was that about you flipped down? Uh, if you if you want to run another one, I'm I'm open to it. I don't know how this works here though. Yeah, no, I think you're technically the lead, right? I don't know. Um, oh, am I? Let me make sure I've got all the missions and stuff. Okay. Yeah, I only had one mission to accept, but I did pick that up. Yep, yep. We got to extract from farm from the look of it, so yeah. Yeah, and I saw the... Um, so yeah, you do get that seven-day trial for the case. Alright, so I guess we're here and then ready to go, I guess. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I went back. Now I see it's us two. 
repair. All right, here we go. All right. Okay, this is kind of cool. I see how it works now. So I had to click back to take you know, the so whole you time we were partied. Oh, it shows you the other people there. Wait, did we just, did you just group up with four people? Um, huh. I guess we'll find out. I'll probably do solo runs after this, but this is kind of cool though. Seeing, just seeing how it's, what it's like. Oh wow, it's four of us. Oh wow, look at that. Hold on. All right, looks like we spawned at the same spot. Oh no, last time we spawned up here. So now we're on the other hotel, side. Boys. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're on the opposite side this time, I guess. Go to motel. Yeah, it works. That's, okay, it is so nice having the uh, the icons over each other's head too. I wonder if there is a solo queue. Like, what happens if you load into a game with like two or three other people? Uh oh, <laughs> then you'd have like multiple armies. And how many teams of four can there be in one map? That's the the other question. I think we got we got two mutes this time around. Right, there's a building right here. I'm gonna check it. On the left. Side. An AI, I don't know. A lot of shots going off over there. I uh, can't go upstairs. Oops. Gunshots are still really loud. Oh, we're still not over at uh at a wish there was like a a little map or something oh i can see his his icon though on the map sweet that's nice mark yep okay cool so alt t checks your magazine Alt R. Okay, Alt R is that. My ping is a little bit higher this time around. Is there any other weapon inspection other than like Alt T? You know? Uh, no, I don't know. I'm honestly uncertain. I haven't checked. Let me check the settings. Alt four. <laughs> oh, let me, check. Let me give that a try. <laughs> Alt F4, yeah. <laughs> what if I just sat here and they're like, no way, he actually... <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not. But I'm just looking. Alt, yeah, check Never magazine. Never saw PMC so far, but they Alt are on B. the same map, I assume. They should be. I mean, we. I think we've seen dead bodies when we were on one of the first raids we did, and, and uh, yeah, they weren't from us, so I'm assuming PMCs are around. I guess the other guy is just a little quiet. Bunch of shots over this way. Alt B checks the. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, that's semi. Play PMCs. On, uh, last game. That guy's a little quiet too. Wait, are we going over to? Okay, we're moving the stables now. We were going to go to a hotel. Go to stables instead of a hotel or motel. Oh, 
Oh, oh, one guy down. MC down. I'm hurt. Okay, so it gives me a prompt in the bottom left. On the left. For using V to heal. That's kind of nice. Then now I can use... So we use the bandage to stop the bleeding, and now we're using the first aid kit to heal that limb. And then we'll probably use it again to heal the other limb. Yep. There we go. Okay, not bad. Not bad there. Going Alt R, Alt T. Basically full. All right, good. I'll try moving in from this side. Going full auto. What was that? Oh, oh I'm down. No. Oh. Eliminator Ronnie Sag, man. Well. That was a good first run, uh, or first death, I guess. Eliminated due to hit to the face. Oh, critical hit. Damn. All right, well, return to lobby. Extraction failed, so. Fortune favors the brave. Let's see. But not this time failed the mission but at least you survived you may have lost everything you brought in but you can always get more true if you fail to extract you'll lose all the equipment and supplies you're carrying except for the contents of safes recruit battle pass claim rewards for daily sign-in complete survival challenges to claim supplies for three days so now i guess it automatically pulled me out of the group we, uh, nice. Survive for a total of 45 minutes. So there are timed rewards that you get for playing. 45 minutes, we got the helmet, another 60. Or, well, if we play another 20, uh, 35, then we'll get this. So you get some free stuff, daily things. Forbidden Zone. New independent entry of Forbidden Zone is added and accessible from Farm and Valley. To address the ever-increasing number of operators in the dark zone, the bosses of the farm and the valley have unexpectedly strengthened the defenses of their respective territories. So now I think it, uh, it put me solo. I, I think it just disbands you from the party. It was a survey. All right, cool. Let's see what we got here. It's interesting because it makes you, like I was looking at the other um, screen before, I was looking at this one and not the one where it showed us the lobby, but you had to click back. So now I think it's just going to queue me up with another person, pretty sure. Let's uh, load up first and then we'll go ahead and uh, see what happens. Congrats, you have unlocked. Right, we got a house key just from talking to her, I guess. Let's go to storage. And then where is that key that we just got? Also, does it work if I go like this? Whip. Oh, so you can buy the items. If, if you don't already have it, you can buy it like that. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. So this is just gonna equip it. It shows you how many items you already have of that one thing. So we can take that, biscuit, painkillers, surgical kit. So we're gonna quick equip all of those. I'll take this. I'll take the chest, the helmet, backpack. Oh, there's a simple backpack and then there's that one. Oops, move back. Ooh, I don't know if I want to bring this whole thing, but yes, we got, we don't really got much of a choice. Bring, bring three magazines. Bulletproof case. Sure, I can leave that down there. 
what happened to the, the key though it didn't put it into my key ring Mill kit. All right, I think we have all the stuff that we need there. I could bring the tactical headset too. Is there like a search function? Magazine, weapons, headset, backpack, ammo, medicine, traded items. Unless if it's just saying like now you can buy these from her. Oh, house key. Key to the door of the house located in the northeast corner of the farm. Oh, I think it's just saying that you've unlocked. Oh, I see. Yeah. You've unlocked the ability to get these items. That's what it's saying. So at level eight, I'll probably get a thing that says you've unlocked green gunpowder and so on. So I don't actually have it. It's just we've unlocked the ability to get it. Cool. All right. Well, let's run another one. Probably go for like one more in this video. See how much progress we can get. Is there a way to... Um, I wonder if there's a way to solo queue instead too. Unlocks at level five. Maybe it's that. Plays an operator. Unlocks at level 14. Shooting range. We're going to select this. Farm. Select map. Oh, here we go. Auto match. That's what does it. Find team. Total health. Wait, my health is low? If you die, you'll die if your chest or head HP drops to zero. So do I have to use this now then? Okay, yeah, I did have to use it. Let's replace these then. That way we've got full stuff. All right, let's try going in without auto filling. Team settings. Let's do it. Let's try it. <laughs> if I end up going up against other teams, then maybe I'll just autofill. But let's see what happens if we do this. Yeah, so far this, this game is pretty cool. I, I like what they got here. I mean, like I said, for a free to play game, hopefully it doesn't become anything like pay to win. Um, you could argue having the crate as a subscription is not really, I mean, it's not like you're buying the crate, but I don't know. I'm not gonna make that point whether it is or isn't because you could go either way. But at the end of the day, what we have so far just said it's base. It's fun. It's running good. I. Uh, matchmaking seems like it's pretty quick i mean another thing with tarkov is it takes five to ten minutes just to find a match and then load in this thing is like instant and this is only the beta so all right this time we're solo i'm gonna try going to the motel so you can escape here by paying cash you can escape here without a backpack over there is, I guess, just a different one. And then these two are safe to leave whenever. You got 35 minutes. My ping is 12, mil 12 milliseconds right now. Not bad at all. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing is so far this this game runs amazing. The gunplay so far feels pretty good.
I mean, at the end of the day, I just hope for more, more games like this. More tactical shooters. More extraction shooters, honestly, is something I, I don't mind. I almost kind of prefer the PvE side of things for tactical shooters. But Karkov at this point, especially for myself, is just very advanced. So getting into that, I feel like can be a little rough. Having chat guide you is a little bit different, but... But yeah. Got him. Boy, that's so loud. Okay. Less than half. Oh boy. I'm gonna reload. Check the body. Body armor. Hey, I'll take the gun. We got toilet paper. It's, I do feel like these matches probably, like once you get a handle of it, you move pretty quick. Because the map's not huge or anything. You go in, you kind of just grab what you can. Any missions you're trying to do, you do, and then you extract. Like it, it moves, at least that's the kind of feeling I got. Right now we're moving slow because we're still getting a feel for this place. But I feel like once you have a, a good understanding of like, okay, motel's here, this is there. Okay, my objective is to go to this building. Then you're going to be like, all right, where we spawn? All right, go quick, move, get over there. All right, now that we got there, all right, now what? I f also feel like if you if you spawn in with a weapon, it's pretty easy to take like a bot out and then go ahead and grab their their guns and ammo, backpacks, all that, and then get yourself on the move. Because I mean, I just took out two guys right there, and they We would have had like two backpacks already. So this is the motel area. Totally should not open that door and then check my inventory. Should have cleared it first, but that's okay. All right, so that goes outside. I'm actually going to close that. Uh oh, uh oh, lagged for a second there. The chest. It's kind of nice that this like highlights a little bit too. Is this ammo compatible? No, it's not. Your movement. Got him. See that crate out there? There's also one right here.
benzin empty. Gunpowder. I don't know how you... That was another player. Might have been like a player scav or something. How we doing on this? You know, I'm running through ammo fast right now. So you got a shotgun. All right, I'm moving. It's good. Everyone? Oh, Grab God. Less than half. Okay, this is not good right now. Less than half. All right, I do have one more magazine, full magazine. everywhere right now they're everywhere this AI is What the heck? I hurt myself a little bit there, but not not enough to start bleeding. There's somebody else coming. He's right outside here. I need to get out of here. Like now. <laughs> Alright. Time to make my way downtown. Let's send a marker. We're moving there. Let's get out of here. I'm just running low on ammo that, at this rate. 
There's so many of them. It's like constantly coming in here. I think we have to pay cash to escape here. Let me let me see if I even have enough. Ooh, yeah, I need 2,000 coin. I do not have that on me right now. I can see an empty, of course. How's this gun looking? Magazine full. Eight rounds left. We'll just move. Just move. It throws me off because the AI actually run. I, I feel like they run as if they're human. I don't know whether to go there or here. I'm just going to stick to the right. That you can come from that side, can you? Yeah, I'm on, I'm on the edge of the map. Check. Okay, nothing there. I'm running. I'm running. I just want to leave. I just want to leave. Hundred meters out, and I can see the extract. Just push, just push. And push. Push, push, push. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Operation success. Whew. That was, uh, yeah, that, that one had me nervous. Man, they were coming left and right in that area. I don't know if any of those people were players, like what the case was. You can see, that's when we search the first enemy, eliminate the enemy. I guess it automatically goes to the next screen, combat report. Eliminations, defeated. Yeah, I guess they were all AI. Yep, they were. Okay. Continue. 
unlocked deke and the new market oh new system market sell cool new contact rodriguez return to lobby operation supply marker removed ports backpack claim rewards we got that let's say contacts let's say who's our new guy another mission for joel bring back items worth two twenty thousand coin eliminate two enemies and farm and collect any primary weapon and bring it back with you all right that one's actually kind of easy both of these are easy enough three messages oh we missed Sorry about getting clapped. I got the rest of them though. Bots ended up getting me. Oh. oh man. Well, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, definitely leave a like on it. I'm going to go ahead and sort this and then I'll do another video very, very soon. So if you want to see more, leave it a like. It makes a huge difference. Uh, join the Discord if you want announcements every time I go live. I've also been covering Gray Zone Warfare. So if you want to see that those videos, they're on my channel. You can find the playlist. Same thing. I've played Ready or Not. I'm hoping to do maybe Tarkov at some point. So I play tactical shooters like this all the time. I, I love them too, aside from the RPGs that I typically live stream. So for now, that's it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.